Hey guys, welcome to the High Tech Legion review for the Myonix Naos mouse. Uh, I have both the 7000 and the 8200 uh, here. I'm currently using the 8200. Of course, I can't use two mice at one time, but I can, however, run both programs side by side. And uh, I do that mainly to show you, as I did in the other part of the review, the mouse are physically identical except for their sensors. Uh, the shape, the ergonomics, the design, the feel, the aesthetics, everything about them is identical. And you can see that reflected here in the software. The mouse settings, you have all the exact same settings for the exact same buttons. You can see the same 125 hertz up to 1000 hertz polling rates. You can see the same options for the same seven buttons here. And then we're going to skip over sensor and go over to the color settings and you can see again that is all the same you have the solid the blinking the pulsating and the breathing LED effects you can turn on the LED lights you can turn them off you can select which sections you want lit up and which ones you don't um, and you can of course go through colors you can do color shift which uh, you know literally changes the colors as you press the buttons you can select any color you want just by changing the uh, numbers down here or of course just choosing whatever colors you might want uh, and it's pretty simple to do that that way and uh, then we move over and of course that's the same for the 7000 and the 8200 and then you have macro settings again all the same uh, and I've gone through in other reviews macro setup so I'm just gonna do this quickly and I'm going to do it with the 8200 um, just to be able to show you guys the actual setup. So quickly, 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 we're going to create new macro. You can enter a name. So we'll just name it macro. And then uh, we're going to tell it to record the delay. Uh, or hold it well you you could do either one and then you just start record right and whatever buttons you press and that's what it does and it saves that and then stop record so in this case obviously that's a simple macro I'm not actually creating anything to use in a game the point is you can literally assign for one mouse button any one of the seven mouse buttons you can literally assign just about any combination of keyboard functions um, for actions or spells or any kind of uh, thing like that that you might use in whatever video game you might be playing anything from any of the real-time strategies any of the role-playing games any of the MMOs uh, where you're gonna have combinations of movements combinations of spells things like that and that's what it'll do and then you could go in here even and adjust uh, I forgot how I just did it a minute ago and now I forgot how uh, you can adjust the milliseconds here alright insert mouse event insert delay that's what it is you right click it um, and then you can even just delete let's say oops I didn't mean to hit three three times so I'm just gonna delete one of those and now you can see I have the three in there twice so it's fully customizable you can really create some really complex it's super easy to do and you can really create some complex macros uh, anyway so that being said I'm gonna reset all that to default now here's the thing going back to the sensor performance this is the only part where the mice uh, I try to say mouse and mice combined uh, where the two different mice the 7000 and the 8200 differ uh, and even then it's still pretty similar um, you can see even though the 7000 looks more busy um, I, I'm pretty sure the 8200 actually has more options you've got pointer speed lift distance you have that for both you can test and save um, and then what I really like is what they call the squat or the Scott uh, it's the surface quality analyzer tool and you can see what this is uh, for example and I'm gonna do a review for this soon the Myonix Propus 380 mouse pad 
so let's say I hit service and then I just move it around all over the place for a moment you see it counting down four three two one and that's all you have to do and show result and it's at 90 percent now compare that really quickly and this is the objective let's try this other generic foam mouse pad let's see what the difference here is all right now again we're just moving all over two seconds one second and show results down to forty percent either way though the point is you can analyze your surface quality and make sure that you're using a good high quality mouse uh, or mouse pad for these mice to make sure that you're getting the full capability of the mouse itself um, and then of course you have basics I have spent way too much time on that you have basics like the DPI settings you're gonna have multiple different settings as I showed on the 8200 you've got the three LEDs on the side uh, you have the up and down buttons for the DPI and you can set those again as high as 8200 as low as 200 and maybe let's say somewhere right in the middle one 42 it is so I would hit apply and now it's set at 200 and I mean I'm really moving this mouse all over and that's all it's doing you kick it up and BAM you can see the difference and then up to 8200 Anyway, I'm overdoing it, over talking it. That is a quick look at the software for the Myonix 7000 uh, NEOS and the NEOS 8200. Um, again, good, super high quality mice with some very, uh, very nice software that comes with it. I'm going to reset this to defaults so I can actually use it. <laughs> and uh, that's it. There you have it. And I appreciate you guys watching. Come over and check out the full review for the mice with the uh, unboxing and everything included. And uh, we appreciate you watching here at High Tech Legion. And remember, with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you probably haven't seen it at all.